Thank you very much for that, Ian Wright. People deluded, I'm back again. First things first, appreciative to all of you lot tuned in. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and of course, good night. Hope you all had a great weekend. Hope this week is filled with good health and where your personal and private lives are concerned. Hope you achieve everything your heart desires, people. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment any thoughts, and definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe and check out the other videos. Now, obviously, I was going through my spreadsheet where I just, any basically, any player that, you know, I watch a lot of football in it. Any player that I take an interest to, I just put them on my spreadsheet and then I come and talk to you guys about them, really. Now, obviously, if we talk about first things first, three players um, who actually think we're all, I think they're all going to have decent footings in the game and they're all going to have good careers. Let's talk about Cooper Miners. Now, he's a household name. He plays for Ho he plays for Holland, the Netherlands. Obviously, he plays for Atalanta, previously played in his homeland um, in Dutch football in the area de Vizier. He's a player I like them a lot, you know, really and truly. Obviously, when you think of Dutch players, you ex you assume assume they're very cultured on the ball, very good passing range, very good in tight spaces, you know, and he does all of that. I think one thing I like about him, although I wouldn't say defending is a strength of his, in the Atalanta system, it demands that every player puts a shift in and he does exactly that. His ball playing ability is good. He's a strong ball carrier. His passing range is good. I like his temperament. When things are going wrong, he stands up to be counted. He has a relative base of experience and it's no surprise why he's linked with Liverpool and, and, and the, the couple of the greatest of respects to Atalanta, the stronger teams in it. Italy, the Juventus, the Inter Milan's, the AC Milan's, etc. Now everybody's linked with everyone, but I genuinely believe he'd be a very good player. Again, the thing that I like is his passing range and his temperament. He trusts himself in possession. Obviously, he's typically paired with a more defensive partner, but you look at the, the you know, I don't want to praise a midfielder for, for the areas they cover because that's what he should be doing. He's quite dynamic on the pitch. He's known to go out wide and, you know, do that Xhaka thing at times where you go out wide and provide that third man run or play one-twos. He does all of that for people and he's played in a range of systems in his career so I think he'd be quality high technical level always scanning great in tight space and again to play at this level you should be doing any or all of this anyways people quite experienced contracted until 2025 25 years of age I don't think Arsenal go for him but I think he should be considered an option then you've got Scalvini now forgive me for mispronunciations 19 years of age I genuinely think he's got a great future and he will be one of the best centre-backs in, in world football I'm not saying top five Ballon d'Or winner all of that but I like him at 19 if you just watch him play of course there's there's many things he needs to work on there's many raw elements of his game so you can definitely tell he's a young man but in many ways you can't he's, there's a gracefulness to the way he plays especially in the modern day with being good on the on the ball Atlanta probably not the level of football they played a couple of years ago, but they still play amazing football. And I think he he's shown a willingness to really play that. You know, he would he'll gallop forward with, with the ball in possession. Obviously, he's able to play in a high line. He's got a good passing range. Uh, while I think all of his defensive metrics could improve, he's a very good marker. He intercepts well, really well, actually. He's a he's a very, you know, his temperament is good. He reads the game well. He knows when to dive in and when not to. You know, again, a young Italian defender, it shouldn't shock you. Italy's the university of defending, in it? Or defensive players, so you should be with that and it's no surprise why I believe he's got four or five caps for Italy and I, at this moment in time he's got five appearances for at 55 sorry appearances for Atalanta so there's still a lot he's still raw there's still a lot of building blocks you know it's not exactly a centre back at this moment in time that's going to come and at least initially challenge Saliba or Gabriel and disrupt them and help us immediately with the Champions League but I think he's one that although it's been quoted about 40 million euros another player that's drawing interest from clubs all abroad even Manchester City be amazing he plays with a lot of maturity despite his young age um as I said, he, he's very committed. He, he loves to defend. Like He's like a perfect blend of an old-school defender in the modern day. He shows a willingness to get on the ball and gallop forward and try and, and link up play. But he also really loves defending. He puts his body on his line, on the line. He's very brave. You look at the reference points, he looks up to Thiago Silva as a player as well. So if you're looking to learn from them kind of man there, you're doing all right, people, really and truly. Very graceful player. And I've got a lot of time for Scalvini. Um, I'm going to call him Maxence. I can't pronounce his name. ML, again, he plays for Wolfsburg in 
in the Bundesliga. Again, depending on the fee, I think he'd be a good option for Arsenal. He's French, you know, starting in the water in France. They're bringing out all these amazing players. Fortunately, we've got Saliba. Would have been nice to have had a young Camavinga, Kylian Mbappe, Osman Dembele, and the list probably goes on. Um, but I like him because he fits our dynamic. He's in his early 20s. I think he's six foot three, six foot four. So he's got great height. I think he's very strong, especially strong in his jewels. Obviously, Bundesliga, there's a lot of tax that needs to be applied, but I think he's very strong in his jewels. I think he's of a decent, not the most gracious defender with a ball at his feet, but I think he's got the, the level to play in the Premier League, if I'm honest with you. Um, he reads the game very well. So I'm a big fan of his physical capabilities and his technical qualities as well, people. And he's obviously got a decent grade, grading in terms of experience as well. At, at this moment in time, my notes at the time, six, 83 appearances in the Bundesliga, 27 in the second division in, in France, been capped at France under 20 level. So I think he would be a good addition on the right hand side, really, to complement Saliba as well and provide a good option there, if I'm completely honest with you. Again, one thing I like about him is he reads the game very well. And when you read notes about him and stuff, he seems like someone that really wants to improve, that really wants to maximise his potential. And it's not just about ability to play for Arsenal or any club, but specific to Mikel Arteta, it's about your temperament. It's about how you carry yourself in all actions. It's about you as a man, let alone as a footballer. So I personally like all three of these players. I'm not necessarily saying Arsenal's going to sign them. They're just three players I, I like the look of. And I like to talk about players emerging or players, you know, just talk about football with you lots. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts if you've got any of those play uh, any of these players on your mind. Again, I think they would all be good additions to Arsenal, but none of them have been linked with Arsenal. So it just provides nothing more than a talking point and a decent little video for myself and you lot. So if you lot know about these players, let me know, you know, your thoughts on them. Would they be bad options? Would they be good options? How high do you rate them? I think Scalvini the Wells is oyster, in my opinion. But yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. That's all I've got to say, people. Stay blessed, stay safe. I'm out. <laughs> Because you always just have active red lights, defending, having given, like...